Chesapeake Bay soft shells they say are simply divine. It's time to let go, let your palate wander. Tell them, please bring on the feast. Great times, great food, great taste, great chefs of the East. Welcome to Great Chefs of the East. A celebration of regional cookery featuring some of the leading chefs from the East and Northeast. This time from Lenox, Massachusetts. An appetizer by Peter Platt. From New York City, an entree by Lynn Aronson. And dessert from Williamsburg, Virginia by Marcel de Soulinet. The Wheatley Inn is an elegant property in the Berkshires of Massachusetts. The executive chef at Wheatley is Peter Platt. Born in Chicago, he attended the Cordon Bleu in London, but got his real cooking experience at the Parker House in Boston with Lydia Shire and Jasper White. His appetizer is pumpkin soup and fig canals. The soup starts with onions cooked in about four tablespoons of butter. This takes a little butter. If you'd like, you can uh, add a teeny bit of water to help keep it from burning. In the beginning. The onions are cooked covered over low heat for about 20 minutes. Okay, after it's done sweating, it'll look something like this, uh, really well cooked. We can add some chicken stock. Bring that to a boil. In the meantime, we can uh, prepare the pumpkins. I like to put uh, a bouquet garni in each one, which is uh, parsley, bay, and thyme, a little bit in each one. Also, some chopped up, a piece of chopped up ginger. A couple pieces in each one. Salt and freshly grated nutmeg, also seasoned. If you'd like to get this chicken and onion mixture really boiling quite good before you add it to the pumpkin, because the pumpkin will cook a lot faster if you start out with boiling chicken stock. While we're waiting for the chicken stock to boil, we can start uh, preparing the fig canals. We start with dried figs, and we remove the stems from, the, from each fig so that it'll blend nice and smooth. I've removed the stems already from the other ones. Put into a small, appropriate-sized pan, and add uh, water till it comes up about halfway up the figs. Cook the figs until soft. Most of the liquid will be absorbed. You can take that off the stove. Fill up each pumpkin. You don't want to fill it all the way to the top because it is going to gain a little volume while it's cooking. Note that the pumpkins are put on salt which will form a seal, preventing leakage. Okay, now these are ready to go right into the oven, where they'll stay for about an hour and a half to two hours in a, uh, at about 350 degrees. After the pumpkins have cooked, the stock is removed. It's, easy if to, it's easier if you start by ladling out the little bit of the chicken stock. Now you should be able to carefully Pick up each pumpkin and pour out what's left. The pumpkin's flesh is scooped out and added to the chicken stock. You can tell if the pumpkins are done by, by pressing on the outside. And if it's soft, especially in the middle or near the top, 
then you'll know that it's, they're ready to come out. It's hard to give exact proportions with this recipe because, of course, all pumpkins are different sizes. So you'll have to use your own judgment, especially when you go and start blending it. And if it's too thick for your taste, then you can either add some more chicken stock or you can add some heavy cream or light cream or even a vegetable stock. Okay, we've pretty much got all that we need to get out of here. Okay, now you can break this up a little bit with a spoon or whatever's convenient and get it ready to go into the blender. This mixture is pureed in a food processor, then reheated. Meanwhile, the chef purees the cooked figs. While this is blending, we'll add a little bit of rum, about two tablespoons. It doesn't take very long for this to reach a real smooth consistency, as you can see. Before we um, fold in the whipped cream, this needs to cool off a bit. If it cools off um, quite quickly, if you leave it in the bowl and then put the bowl in the fridge. The processed soup mixture is reheated and the chef thins it with more chicken stock and a little heavy cream. Chef checks for seasoning. He adds salt, cayenne pepper, and fresh nutmeg. Unsweetened whipped cream is folded into the fig mixture. This is then chilled before presentation. You're going to end up with a mixture that, that's uh, this consistency. It's, pretty, it's fairly stiff, and you've added about uh, one part fig mixture to about two parts uh, whipped cream. The canals are easily uh, formed just by going back and forth, dropping them onto the soup. They're a little bit sweet, they're surprisingly light, and they'll start to just melt a little bit from the hot soup. If you like, you can garnish with a little bit of finely snipped chives and a julienne of prosciutto in the middle. Great food, great taste, great chefs of the east. 